This nice film, although from the period, misidentifies the Panzergrenadier Division, Großdeutschland, as a Panzer Division. The footage was taken in January and February of 1944, when elements of the division were sent north to take part in the operation to relieve 60,000 German soldiers trapped in the Cherkasy pocket. The 5th SS Panzer Division Viking was one of the trapped divisions and much of the footage, including the Panther tanks, is of them. It's the rest of Großdeutschland which remained in Moldova and then moved into Romania that we are focusing on here. This is General Hasso van Manteuffel, Großdeutschland's commander, who, by this time, was a proven, talented tactician in mobile warfare. In 1941, at the beginning of Barbarossa, he was the commander of a battalion in the 7th Panzer Division, which was part of Army Group Center. I've uploaded some really good videos covering that division. This is periodical number 8 from April of 1944 from the series Signal. It has this beautiful color photograph of a Panzergrenadier team in their armored personnel carrier and a nice description to go with it. Im Gegenstoß nach vorn, or Counterattack Forwards. The text states, the Panzergrenadiera, the first to attack and the last to break contact with the enemy when withdrawing. The speed, firepower, and the range of their armored personnel carriers give this multifaceted weapon tremendous power. Combined with the troops' advanced equipment and weaponry, the Panzergrenadier have extremely high combat effectiveness. Their leadership is on the cutting edge of tactical theory, utilizing the combination of power and speed. They are the modern cavalry. At the end of this video, you can see part four of the Panzergrenadier training film from 1944. If you haven't seen parts one through three, I suggest you go back and watch the other Großdeutschland videos that have been uploaded. But sometimes the modern cavalry wasn't enough. In early March, the Soviets launched a major attack on the northern, central, and southern flanks of Army Group South, and on March 16th, Großdeutschland began moving west. By the end of March, the division had crossed the Prut River and entered Romania. This German footage that was captured by the Soviets supposedly shows them retreating and the last soldiers pulling back over the river. Plenty of preparation had gone into reinforcing this defensive line. And this time, the Romanians were determined to stand and fight. Новые плавающие автомобили подвергаются предварительному испытанию. плавающих автомобилей на одной из речек в южной части Восточного фронта. Coming back to our German war correspondent from part three in this series, at this time he was situated in the Romanian city of Stanca, located on the river Prut. Combat in this sector had been intense, but the Germans and Romanians had been able to hold the line, at least temporarily. This outstanding footage shows scores of destroyed Sherman tanks that the Soviets had received through the Lend-Lease program. If you are a Patreon member, you got access to the unedited version of this footage. If you're not yet a member, please consider becoming one. It's worth it, I promise. Imagine the bombardment that the soldiers in these trenches experienced. 
but the brunt of the Soviet thrust was headed in the direction of the Romanian city of Jassy. In two massive tank engagements, which took place in April and May, known as the Battle of Targu Frumos, Großdeutschland was prepared to meet it. In this battle, the Germans were first rudely introduced to the powerful Soviet IS-2, which was armed with a massive 122mm cannon that could effectively penetrate the Tiger's armor at a distance of one kilometer. It also was the only Allied tank which could take a hit from the German 88mm flak. When the first battle began, the Tigers engaged at distance and their shells couldn't penetrate the IS-2's armor. Only through superior tactical maneuvering was the German armor able to move within 800 meters and, working together, destroy four of the new tanks. During the two battles, the Soviets suffered the loss of 350 tanks, which caused them to postpone further large operations in the region until the summer of 1944. And now, here's clip 4 from the Panzergrenadier training film from 1944. If you haven't seen the other clips, I suggest you go back and take a look. Vor uns, etwa 800 Meter die HKL. Ihr Einsatz in dieser Richtung müsste von hier doch gut möglich sein. Jawohl, ich kann gedeckt entlang der Straße nach Simonovici schnell vorstoßen und durch diesen Waldstreifen überraschend wieder in die Stellung fahren. Von hier ist auch Feueröffnung auf günstigste Entfernung möglich. Da, sehen Sie, die Leuchtkugel. Sie erkennen also auch Richtungsschüsse auf hartnäckige Widerstandsmesser. Den Stoß kann ich auf jeden Fall flankieren führen. Nein, Mann, Sie fahren jeweils gestaffelt auf Ihrer HKL abgewandte Seite. Jawohl, Herr Oberleutnant. Ich bitte, wenn ich Flamme um Unterstützung und Überwachung durch Panzergrenadiere... Das verstehe ich. Aus. Es ist bereits 9.27 Uhr. Donnerwetter. Und nun rasch zur dritten Stelle, die noch zu erkunden ist. In eineinhalb Stunden müssen wir zurück sein. Ich hab's geschafft. Jawohl, Herr Oberleutnant. Sie führen die Männer zurück. Ich gehe mit Leutnant Priester von hier zum Regimentskommandeur. Erkundung und Verbindung, Aufnahme durchgeführt, Kampfpläne anhand dieser Spitze festgelegt. Beobachtungsgraben ausgebaut. Gut. Kommen Sie. Hinter dieser bewaldeten Höhe stellt der Feind neue Kräfte bereit. Огонь! Готово. 